Hello and welcome to ACS Trainer Tightness Testing. Before testing for tightness you must ensure all appliances are turned off at the customer control taps. Pilot lights must be extinguished, cooker lids placed in the raised position and ensure that appliances cannot be brought back into service. Ensure the gas is turned on at all the appliance isolating gas taps usually located prior to entering into the appliance. Locate the meter and turn off the gas at the ECV emergency control valve. Remove the test nipple and attach a suitable U-gauge calibrated at zero. Slowly turn on the ECV. Pay attention to the U-gauge. At a pressure between 7 to 10 millibars, turn off at the ECV. It is important to test accurately throughout. Make a note of the pressure. With a stopwatch, time one minute and take a second reading on the U gauge. If the pressure has risen, a leak may be present at the barrel within the ECV. To confirm this leak, ensure gas is isolated at the ECV and remove the anaconda at the ECV connection. Spray leak detector fluid LDF inside the ECV. If bubbles are seen the ECV is confirmed to be leaking gas. Report the issue to the National Gas Emergency Service 0800 111 999. This number is located on the gas meter and follow their instructions. If the pressure does not rise we can move on to the next part of the test. Using the ECV raise the pressure up further to between 20 to 21 millibars then turn off the ECV. A length of time has to pass now for the temperature of the gas in the pipe to balance with the temperature of the rooms. Make a note of the reading on the U gauge and start the stopwatch. Allow one minute to elapse. If the reading on the U gauge has moved it can be adjusted back to within 20 to 21 millibars. Make a note of the U gauge reading, start the stopwatch and time the tightness test for 2 minutes. Then take another reading of the U gauge. Depending on the meter installed depends on the amount of gas allowed to escape. There must be no smell of gas. E6 meters are allowed an 8 millibar drop, a U6 meter, a 4 millibar drop, a G4 meter, a 4 millibar drop, and a U16 meter, 1.5 millibar drop. No pressure drop is allowed on a new appliance. No pressure drop is allowed on pipe work. Pressure drops are only allowed on existing appliances. Appliances may need to be isolated from the system to determine if they are the cause of the gas leak. You can keep updated with new calculators, information and changes to regulations by following us on Facebook, LinkedIn or Instagram.